Welcome everyone to Vested Interest. This is Shane back again from their stock pick of the day video. It is January 11th. We're going to take a look at one out of the utility sector today, Pinnacle West Capital Corporation. Let's jump right in. And if you are new to the channel or have just not done so already, go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below. Hit the subscribe button. Join us on this journey to financial freedom. Join the vested interest community and hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever we put out any new content and you don't miss any future videos. This is the vested interest stock screen. This is how I set up the videos. It's also how I look at companies on a high level to see if I'm interested in investing in them or reviewing my portfolio. This is how I look at companies already in my portfolio and see if they still meet my investing criteria. You can pause this, go through it, but basically we're going to go through and start with understanding the business. We're looking for growing free cash flow, growing dividend over time, dividend payout ratio of 75% or less. Now, this is not for all companies like a REIT or BDC or even a utility company, which is what we're going to look at today, which typically pays higher than 75%. And in, in the case of REITs and some BDCs, by law, they must pay out 75. I believe in the case of REITs, it's 90% uh, or better of their free cash flow. So this applies for most stocks, but not all. Check valuation based on dividend yield theory. We'll take a look at dividend yield theory on this one. Buy below its current cost basis or within 15% of its 52-week low. The current cost basis portion of this would be if it's already in my portfolio. I'm trying to get it below my cost basis or within 15% of a 52-week low. That could apply if it's already in my portfolio. It also definitely applies whenever it's a new stock I'm looking to add to the portfolio. Return on invested capital and return on equity. I'm looking for industry average or 10% better. I really focus on the 10% or better and earnings per share growth of 5% or better or again equal to its industry average. And for financial companies like banks, I add in price to book. Must meet five of eight if it's not a bank. And if you add in price to book, it must meet six of nine. So we'll run through this screener throughout the video and you will see exactly how I look at a company on a high level to see if it makes it on my watch list. And then if it makes it on my watch list, I do more of a deep dive into the financials and a discounted cash flow analysis to see what I'm willing to pay. And then I align that discounted cash flow analysis with the company when it's within 15% of its 52 week low to make my entry. Now on to Pinnacle West. If you want to know more about this company, check them out at www.pinnaclewest.com. This is part of understanding the company. Know what they do. How are they making their money? And that's www.pinnaclewest.com. That is their homepage where I pull this information from. And again, Pinnacle West is a utility company. Pinnacle West Capital Corporation, ticker PNW, is an investor-owned electric utility holding company based in Phoenix, Arizona. We are recognized for our strong customer growth, healthy finances, principled ESG focus, and innovative energy solutions to meet the changing needs of our customers. Along with our main subsidiary, Arizona Public Services, APS, we are working to meet business needs with practices that balance a healthy environment, a vibrant economy, and strong communities for current and future generations. We provide our approximately 1.4 million customers with clean, reliable, and affordable affordable energy today and committed to power Arizona's future with electric electricity that is 100% clean and carbon free by 2050. If you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I always note whenever they get into these carbon free, carbon capture, that's the new buzzword I feel like, kind of like AI. Everyone's looking for a carbon free or to reduce their carbon footprint or carbon reduction. That's going to be a big business here over the next several decades. APS is also the operator and owner of the Palo Verde Generating Station the largest nuclear plant and a single largest generator of carbon-free electricity in the U.S. There it is again, carbon-free electricity. And again, if you want to know more about this company, check them out, www.pinnaclewest.com. That is their homepage. But overall, they're a utility company based down in Arizona, and they cover Arizona and a couple of the surrounding states. Now, the reason we are taking a look at them, big drop on the day, 3.41%. We are talking about Pinnacle West Corporation, ticker PNW, closed up the day at $71.02. 52-week range, as low as $68.55, as high as $86.03. Definitely closer to their 52-week low than their 52-week high. Average volume, $955,000. Today's was $590,000. You can see that pretty much a clear sell-off throughout the day. Market cap of $8.054 billion. A beta of 0.4%. 4, 8, which is less volatile than the overall market. Price to earnings ratio PE on this one is $16.95 per share. Nice earnings per share EPS on this one is $4.19 per share. 
The next earnings date is coming up February 21st through February 28th. So tune in if you're interested in the earnings calls. Forward dividend yield is $3.52 paid out on the year. They are quarterly payers, so divide by four. We'll see that here in a little bit. And a very high and very nice starting dividend yield on this one, 4.79%. On the edge of 5% dividend yield on this one. X dividend date is was January is coming up January 31st. Looks like they are going to pay on March 1st. So if you were to buy them now, you would get this next dividend payout. We are well in advance of the X dividend date. And a one-year target estimate is $77.60. So they do some see some slight upside in the stock price appreciation on this one over the next calendar year. Not a lot, but a little there, at least according to Yahoo Finance, where I pulled this information from. Not affiliated with Yahoo Finance, just one source I like to go to. Now I like to get into statistics. I'm looking at dividend yield theory here. To do that, we look at the five-year dividend yield average of 4.12%. We compare it to its current 4.79%. Over here, it's forward annual dividend yield, 4.79%. That'll be found under statistics. A lot of good information here. You'll find price to book, uh, peg ratios, a lot of margins, a lot of good information under statistics. But in this case, we're looking at dividend yield theory again. Five-year dividend yield average, 4.12%. Current, 4.79%. And since it is higher and quite a bit higher, it speaks to some potential undervaluation, at least according to dividend yield theory. So this one is undervalued, at least according to dividend yield theory. Now we're going to look at payout ratio. Remember, I like 75% for regular stocks. This is a utility company, so they typically have a higher payout ratio. They are at 82.58%. This would be in my wheelhouse as far as electrical companies go. I don't mind that. There are some that are much higher. There are some that are a little bit lower, but a lot of times they're around that 80 to 90% as far as payout ratio goes. So that is not egregiously high, in my opinion, at least for a utility company. Now we're going to get into the financials here a little bit. We're going to look at free cash flow, but there's a lot of other good information. If you are really interested in individual stocks, you need to understand this portion of the metrics here. You're going to want to look at their balance sheet, their income statements, debt to equity ratios. Are their margins growing? Are their revenues growing? Do they have enough assets to cover their liabilities? Do they have enough income and revenue to cover their liabilities? Is their income growing over time? Is their revenue growing over time? All good information found under financials. Again, we're going to look at free cash flow going back to 2020. We want growing free cash flow over time because typically if a company has growing free cash flow, it has growing dividends. Now, this is not going to look good, and it never does when we're looking at utility companies. You can see here 2020, negative $360 million in free cash flow. 2021, even less, negative $613 million in free cash flow. 2022, negative 466. And so far to date, at least in 2023, they haven't finished out the year yet, 701. This is typical. Utility companies have a lot of reinvestments back into the business. That's updating utility lines, increasing their coverage, repairs, that sort of thing. So this is not atypical either. I would love these to be all positive, but typically in utility companies, if they're not all negative, they're very sporadic. You might have negative, negative, a positive, a negative, but they do have enough free cash flow to cover their dividends. So that's a good thing. And they are repurchasing their debt. That's also a good thing as well. Now, I always recommend more than one source. So another one that I like is stockanalysis.com. You pick any sources that you like. Just make sure that you are picking more than one so you can make sure the information you're getting is accurate. It's a back check as well as up to date. And as you can see here, price targets were last updated on November 21st, 2023. So these numbers have not been updated since that date. So it does make them a couple months outdated. But according to the eight stock analysts that have taken a look at this, they call it a consensus hold. I would tend to say maybe it's it's probably if you're interested in this company it's looking pretty attractive right now be great to get more of a pullback towards that $68 range and they do see a low estimate of $67 that would be a 5.67 percent decrease from where it currently sits and closer to that 52 week low I think that might even be a new 52 week low there average estimate of $78.25 this would be in line with what we saw with the estimates for Yahoo Finance on the previous page which would be a 10.17 percent increase in the stock price and if it happened to hit their high of $88, that would be a 23.9% increase in the stock price. All the while, you could collect that 5 plus percent dividend or close to 5% dividend yield, 4% plus, 4.7% uh, to be exact, and close to 5%. Obviously, if you got it lower, it may be 5%. Same thing, I like to get into statistics here. We're going to look at how efficiently this company is reusing its capital. To do that, we're going to look at return on equity. I like 10% or better. This does not meet that metric at 7.8%. 
And return on invested capital, same thing, 10% or better. This does not meet that metric at 4.19%. So, so far we have some negatives. Free cash flow looks negative. Return on invested capital, return on equity, not meeting the metrics we like. Though if you were to compare this to a lot of other utility companies, it's not far off. Uh, EPS growth is another metric that I like to look for. I like 5% or better. This is just over that at 5.43%. And revenue, we'll just throw that in as bonus, is growing at 4.41% over the next. These are five-year estimates here. Now let's take a look at the dividend. We want growing dividends over time. You do see 1.75% dividend growth. So it has a nice high dividend yield as well as a little bit of growth to throw in there. Payout ratio is elevated 84%. But again, a lot of utility companies, if you look at them, are going to be in the 80 to 90% range. So this is not egregiously high. Quarterly payer, they're paying 88 cents per share. Currently, we're going to go back to 2021. January 2021, 83 cents per share. January uh, oh, I'm sorry, right here, November 2021, they raised it up to 85 cents. They raised it up again October 2022 to 86 cents. And most recently, October 31st, they raised it up to 88 cents. So I would anticipate somewhere in the October, November time frame, they would probably raise this again if they are going to continue this dividend growth. Pinnacle West is on my watch list. It is one I am interested in at the right price. It is looking more attractive than it has in the past. I probably will continue to watch this. I just added BABA and I am building out my Kroger position as well. So until I get those built out, I'm looking not, I'm not looking to add anything else, but I am looking to add something in the utility sector. Let me know if this is in your portfolio. How long have you been holding it? How many shares do you have? What do you think so far? Is your return looking good? Is it flat? Is it up? Is it down? Uh, let me know in the comments section what you think about this company. I do read the comments. Uh, as always, appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't just already, don't forget to show me some love. Hit that thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a small YouTube channel like me. So join us on this journey to financial freedom. Join the vested interest community. Building a community of like-minded dividend growth investors. Hopefully, you are already on your own investing journey as well. If not, what's keeping you from starting your investing journey? Let me know down in the comments section below. I do personally read and respond to the comments. I'm always interested to read your questions, opinions, or suggestions for future topics. So if you have a company like Pinnacle West you'd like me to cover in the Stock Pick of the Day series, drop it down below. I'll work into the rotation. And this is Shane signing off, wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a vested interest. Hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice. I'm only sharing my opinion and investor journey for educational and entertainment purposes. Investing involves risk and cash money. So never invest in any amount of comfortable Always do your own research. Must be your situation, circumstances, and select the right here. Or see the advice comes from a certified financial advisor.